Hello, good evening. Not all bad news over the next few days. Fairly cloudy skies across the region earlier today, but still some beautiful pictures like here in Ashover. A big thank you to Stuart Slynn for this one. And also the barley, you can see that in the breeze against those fairly grey skies in Beeford. A big thank you to John Gaskin for the shot weather photos at ITV.com. But high pressure doesn't really make much headway and it allows this front to come through as we head through tonight. Low pressure to the north and those isobars fairly tightly packed for July and also dragging in some cooler air, especially by the end of the week into the start of the weekend. And for polling day for many of us it will be dry but yes quite blustery over the next few hours or so most places dry an odd shower but clouding up all the while from the west and certainly into the early hours pushing eastwards outbreaks of showery rain some will be heavier than others the heaviest pulses were expecting over the pennines as we head towards dawn so tomorrow not great it'll be a fairly cloudy and damp affair first thing but the showery rain will tend to ease and the middle part of the day maybe a little bit drier and brighter. Temperatures a bit disappointing for early July, so we're looking at 17. We'd be wanting a 20 by now, and certainly a lot cooler than it was last week. And to the north and west, we're expecting some potentially heavy showers by evening, accompanied by some strong and gusty winds. It's all associated with this weather front that will fizzle out as it pushes south and eastwards, and then it leaves us with that blustery northwesterly for polling day on Thursday. Many places will be dry, bright and blustery, but we can't rule out one or two showers hours and then on Friday thicker cloud lighter winds the risk of some rain and then a chilly northwesterly as we head into Saturday.